And we're back with some more Room World. Uh, still trying to exterminate the pirates. We have five bases left. So close. Anyway, the A team over here have stopped to do a bit of shopping at the Bramblekin Leagues. We've managed to offer them a few gifts, trade up with them, buy up all their pemmican, and now we'll just finalize and do a, just a tiny bit more trading, and then we'll leave. For some reason, this village is, well, very exposed already. You can see most of the rooms. In fact, they already have 28 dining chairs we can see already. So that's awesome. This place looks pretty nice. Uh, we'll just set up a quick kill box here and sort these uh, these Bramblekins out. There's something very satisfying about mowing down tribals. Let's hope this is as easy as I think it's going to be. They really have, well, terrible weaponry and we have lots and lots of guns. I was just about to open our prezies here when we got a manhunter ambush. The B team. Uh, animals, animals, what have we got? Ooh, bison. They're actually pretty tough. This is no bunch of pigs. Uh, yeah, I think same again. Animal meat shield and gun them down. And oh, damn it, two of our people are currently in a state. Confused and wandering and psychotic wandering. The B team have had a rough week. Okay, they've had a rough, <laughs> they've had a rough few seasons. Okay, all of them have had rough seasons. Uh, the reason we ran forward here is we wanted to get closer, well, we wanted to get our, our just dazed people far away from the combat. So hopefully they won't get tied up in this. Nope, Van Damme, stay over there. Jesus, okay, never mind, our firepower was. I was kind of expecting those bisons, bisons to take a little bit more of a pounding. Oh well, done. This place is amazing. We've got 47 dining chairs. I'm pretty sure that's a record. 47? This this would make this the most chaired base of all time. As well as that we have 20 beds. I haven't even been keeping track of that, but that's a lot of beds. And 14 tables? Wow, that's a lot of tables. Why are those two not selecting? Oh, I haven't even... Wait, have I not claimed some stuff yet? 52 dining chairs. I, I had not claimed this room. It was it was just down around a long corner. So 52 dining chairs. Yep, that's a definite record. That it, That is... Wow. Oh, yeah. Well then, uh, let's hope we have more space in the caravan. We're currently, we're mining out all of their uh, smoke leaf plants. There is an awful lot of smoke leaf plant lying around. We're going to take that with us. Then we're going to try taming up some of those boomlopes. Uh, suggestion was, tame up the boomlopes. If we tame a few of those, maybe we can use them as suicide bombs. Wow, I probably shouldn't have said that out loud in a video. Oh well, demonetization. <laughs> all right, we'll, uh, we'll skip this forward a bit while uh, they demolish this place and we get ready for their next assault. Their next assault will be on this pirate place. Actually, no. Dump off their supplies here that they've scavenged and then go over here to that pirate place. Vanish, Vanquisher Settlement. This team is just quickly dropping off some... selling some chairs at this establishment and then we'll head over there to that pirate base. We are well on the way to having this sorted. And this team is quite ready to sell off all of the chairs they've acquired. The A team, though, did sort of run into a base before they got to that tribal one, so they have slightly more than 50 chairs. I believe there's, I've counted them up, but I can't really keep track, there's too many, but there's about 70 dining chairs we've just sold off there. That's a lot of dining chairs. It's like just an awful, awful, awful lot of dining chairs. Uh, this place is going to be the most chaired city in, in, in the whole of RimWorld. Just that's so many chairs. <laughs> I don't even know why we do it anymore. The B team over here have caught up with some tribals to go trading again. So we'll see how much pennicutting they have for us on this map. We might not even stay long. Well, assuming we don't get any injuries, we should just run straight in and go attack the pirates that are right next door. We don't want to hang around here if we don't have to. Uh, preferably just to save food. Ooh, that looks very similar to the last one. Let's hope they've got as many dining chairs. Well, here comes our next wave of, well... I don't want to say it. assault attackers, defenders, they're just... Ow. Oh my god. Who wants to be first? Anyone? Yeah, even second is usually not good these days. Yeah, none of them appear to be related to sugar, unfortunately, but yeah, nothing you can really do about that. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll go in and see if they have any better dining chair requirements than the last place. Unfortunately, only 16 dining chairs. But we're not going to stay here, I don't think. Since the near nearby pirate base is so close, I think we'll just pick up and go straight over there and attack them. We can rest during the night while... Mm, actually, wait till morning here. No, no, we'll rest during the night and we'll attack the pirate base in the morning. Our potato crop is starting to come close to fruition. Uh, once that comes in, we should be sorted for vegetables for a very long time. Assuming Randy doesn't do something in the interim to, you know, destroy it all. Also, there's a few tracks where the animals can get to and they're maybe... Scooping out a little bit of it, we're, we're not going to worry about it. 
I was going to take care of those pirates, but there's just a minor distraction I've got to take care of first. Was it 89 mega slots? That should be fine. We had a little bit of an incident with some horses over here that we're currently just uh, getting rid of. And uh, then, then we'll go take care of those um, mega slots in a second. I've just seen some odd behavior from these things. They're attacking a door. I've never seen that before. I didn't even know they could attack doors. I mean, I've seen them attack doors when they see someone run through it, but no one ran through that. They just decided to attack that door. Anyway, let's uh, get our kill box set up. I have to... I could probably try using defensive positions, but my, my pawns change so frequently, it's just not worth it. Let's enjoy watching our uh, our new dinner show up. Our fridge was actually running rather low. This should make a big difference. Oh, damn wasp. You're running in late. She should have been at this battle ages ago. Well, we definitely needed more meat for the fridge, and if you look at our fridge here, it was pretty bare. All we had was... Okay, when you've got an elephant in your fridge, it's really hard to say it's bare, but in this sort of colony, yeah, an elephant and a few elk are not really going to cut it. This, however, this will change things nicely. Before I can tidy up that mess, we've run into a minor problem. Caravan ambush. And it's the A-Team, which is not good. The A-Team have been out of Doomsday Rockets for a while. And now they're getting attacked by a lot of Tomahawk pirates. Uh, 14 humans. We have an eight-person squad. They're fully all ready to go, but this is just going to suck. Uh, does they have any grenade? They have one grenadier. You know, I might even just zap that one from a distance just to, to give us the absolute optimum chance. The rest of the weaponry is not the best. I'd just rather they didn't get too close. I think... Hmm... Yeah, no, I'm not going to jinx myself by saying anything. I'm going to set up a defensive perimeter and let's see how they handle it. Well, first up, we're going to zap that grenadier. I don't want them causing us any problems. Oh, it didn't stop them. They did get a burn scare on their brain and they're still standing? Well, they're in the berserk state. Hopefully their old people finish them off. Uh, I've got my people over here. Oh, animals. Put them into a safe zone. Actually, should we put all of them in a safe zone or just... Hmm, I got an idea. Would you look at that? They're shooting at each other. Perfect, perfect. Okay, that slows them down. That allows us to get our people back into a better position. You, where are you going? Uh, I may have messed this up, should I? Go here. Can you go there? Damn it. Okay, maybe not my best defensive perimeter ever. You know what? We will add on one stone. Well, I tried to get the boomalope to stay out here where it could be used as a sort of a an impromptu landmine. Unfortunately, it keeps running away from the location. Uh, fortunately, they're still ongoing. Oh. Yeah, and it did slow them down, which bought us time. Which led us to set up a better defensive position. And their weapons are pretty weak sauce in comparison to ours. We've got miniguns and charge rifles, and all they've got is shotguns and mostly pistols. Gonna call that a win. Right, now do any of them have any weapons or anything I'd like before they leave? Or are they related to anyone like sugar? No, not, not related to sugar. Not related to sugar. Yeah, you can all go. Eh, that worked. Out. Not the worst. I think we'll just leave immediately and take what we can with us. Time for our first pirate base of the day. It's this one over here. We'll just uh, zoom in there and see what we're facing. First up, yes, they do have a mortar, but I don't know if it's jelly. Eh, whatever. Neither of them are psychically immune, I hope. Uh, nope, we're good. So that means we can zap those pretty quick. Let's just get a, a defensive perimeter set up. Uh, well, zap a, the mortar person and get a defensive perimeter set up. Probably behind an outcropping of rocks, like say, ooh, hmm, let me think. Before we activate this little hive, they've got, ooh, four sniper rifles, a few submachine guns, some pistols, uh, someone at least has a club, uh, pump shotguns, the usual. Not really too much in the way of buildings. I'm not really holding out a lot of hope here for chairs. It's a pity, but uh, yeah, let's see uh, if we can't stir them up a bit and then retreat back to our kill box over here. This is going to be slightly different than one of my normal ones, as I'm going to place it behind these mountains. So they have to sort of come into this choke point. Though theoretically the snipers could stand way back and shoot at us. I think most of them are going to bunch up here, and that'll give us a nice chance to do a good doomsday shot. Well, theoretically. Ooh, one of them is deciding to take the long range route. Ooh. Oh, I'm loving that choke point. Okay, that's plenty. Let's get Jimmy here. Let's get him to drop the doomsday and let's, uh, let's end this fight quickly, shall we? Eh, ooh, that, that looks, that looks deliciously tasty there. Just, just fire it in there. Go on. Oh, Jesus. Well, 
That was fast and brutally efficient. Now let's see what uh, prezzies we have over here. For some beautiful reason, most of this base is out of power, which means we were just able to clean the minigun turrets without having to actually do anything. Works for me. That means we only have to kill this one turret and the whole base is ours. Quickest win ever. Ooh, there goes our bedroom. This base is the worst. No chairs, no tables. You can't even eat a meal while you're here. Uh, there's not even any random meals lying about the place. Oh, the only meals they've got were the ones over on the corpses over here. Or the people, whatever you want to call them. Uh, that guy was the only one that actually lived long enough for us to strip him. I mean, okay, I suppose we'll stay here, heal up, and, and get in some recreation. They do desperately need the rec, as they are bored of the other, the only two types of recreation they can get in caravan mode. We just have to deal with some potential major break risks here, which would be bad. But hey... They're getting in their recreation now. They should hopefully be okay in a few minutes. Uh, with that done, uh, this crowd over here are getting ready to siege up this base. However, they had been involved in a quick ambush, so let's see how their health is doing before they throw them into the meat grinder afresh. Ah, that's just barely a scratch. Look at that. 28 of 30, you will be fine. Uh, pump shotgun, 28 of 30. You know what? First thing, first light in the morning, we'll send those in to finish off that pirate base. Back at home base, we have a bit of a mess we're trying to clean up. Turns out all of those uh, those animals may have bled just a tiny, tiny little bit. Ah, uh, yeah, someone on the B team is having a bit of an accident. Uh, don't worry, we've got a bit of a trader here. We're going to offload some of our goods for our next fight. It's the A team, and this is probably going to be one of their tougher fights. They do not have a doomsday for this one. Uh, all the doomsdays are gone. We haven't been able to buy any replacements, so they just have to take them out with just sheer firepower. This could be expensive. Uh, light machine gun. Oh, only two snipers. I can... That's nice bolt actions. Oh, that's some good armor-piercing weaponry, both of those. I, I don't like facing them. However, we shall persevere. We shall find our people who are over here. We shall probably tuck them in somewhere around here. And then we shall gun them down. Now, let's find out if they've got a mortar and get ourselves prepped for this. And now for something a little different. Um... What I'm thinking here is, well, what I was originally thinking was we try and funnel them through here. However, I didn't really think that through very well, did I? That's not mine that... Uh, okay, I'll mine that out then. Oh, they're attacking right now. I don't have time. Well, the other part of the plan was a uh, psychic animal pulsar. We're going to drop that and we're going to activate it. Well, that will drive insane all the animals on the map. And there's quite a few of them spread all about. And the hope is that they'll go attack the pirates. Ooh, let's have a look. <laughs> oh, yep, that's boom rats, all right. Oh, is that guy getting mauled by a rabbit? <laughs> and a rat. Oh, perfect. Our people are well hidden, and we're using our animals as a human shield. And the, our animals won't run away when other animals attack, so they're big, an excellent meat shield. And when the bad guys do show up. Okay, we'll scatter our animals, but we have good guns, and they'll have to come in in small doses. That's working out perfectly. Wow. They're having a bad day. Oh, here come the camels. Go on. Get cameled. <laughs> oh, damn it. There's a high psychic drone at home. I gotta go take care of that, but I, I don't want to stop looking. <laughs> go on. Okay, that's not nearly as successful as I was hoping. I think there'll be a few left alive to come bother us, but they'll definitely be a little bit softened up and spread out. Hopefully. <laughs> yeah, not as effective as I was hoping, but it did at least slow slow them down. Yeah, let's skip this forward and see how this works out when they, they get to, to us. All right, here they come. Our animals will, of course, scatter very quickly after this. Oh, smoke belt. Not what we needed. Oh, wow, and we actually managed to destroy a whole wall. And I just realized we left a boom rat right beside us that's uh, maybe move the animals away for a moment. All right, this seems to be okay, though. Their snipers are annoying me. Oh, did they break? I don't even think we killed that many of them. Oh, those damn smoke belts. They're making the accuracy absolutely terrible. Dear Lord, how did you walk that off, Arrow? You got a bunch of headshots on you. Well... Good job, buddy. Good job. You get to live today. A decent haul. 20 dining chairs and... Hey, we even got a few tables we could take with us if we really want. And how's the beer? Please tell me this beer is almost ready. 11 hours left. Oh, sweet. That means we can decant all this beer before we go. 
I'll be looking over here at 1.4 days. It, never mind. Well, I can't take that stuff, but we do get the beer out of these. So we'll get a, st- a few stacks of beer to take with us. What more do you want from a base? Beer, chairs, a uh, random assortment of bodies, and a whole lot of animal meat. We could really get an awful lot of animal meat here if we wanted. But you know what? No, no, no. We're good. We're going to take what we can and go. But I'm afraid that's all we have time for today. I have work in the morning, and uh, I've probably been at this way too long. It's just uh, there's not as much in-between stuff to show anymore. It's all been done... So I think, uh, yeah, we'll call that three pirate bases left. Yeah, three pirate bases left. And on a bright side, we did manage to get an awful, awful lot of chairs. That was just ludicrous. Oh, I do love the look of those broken pirate settlements just sitting there. It, it really lets me know just how close we are to getting out of here. Anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed and uh, good luck. <laughs>